For 10 years now, Smyrna police have been looking for answers in a case that has long gone cold. Two-year-old Annalise Guerra went missing a decade ago today. Her body was discovered two years later. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us tonight. And Jason, Smyrna police say she was murdered? Well, that's right, Shannon, and they still haven't arrested anyone for her murder. Tonight, Smyrna police are asking for your help yet again. April 24, 2006. It seemed like a scene straight out of a movie. A two-year-old girl missing and police and neighbors mounting a massive search. But for the mother of little Annalise Guerra, this scene was all too real. You know mommy loves you. Ten years to the day of Annalise's disappearance, some still remember every detail. I think everybody that was there was, was utilizing any resource they had to their availability to try to see if they could locate this child. From high in the air all the way down to draining a nearby creek, the search continued. Not having all the answers at this time, it, it does wear on people. But nothing until two years later when some people searching a Civil War site in Murfreesboro came upon something suspicious. They were able to determine that was Annalise's remains. For a decade now, there's been the question, how did little Annalise end up this way? And now the Smyrna Police Department is searching for answers. Maybe there's something that somebody didn't think about 10 years ago, or somebody may have learned something new in the past 10 years. They're afraid to come forward. They may know something. That search for answers is something Smyrna Police say hasn't stopped and never will. Nobody ever forgets that. So until Annalise Guerra's murderer is located and found, we won't stop looking. If you have any information about who took and killed Annalise, call Smyrna Police. We have their number on our website, newschannel5.com. Shannon.